What's up to J Mafia? It's your girl Jada and I am back with another video. So today's video is going to be about the do's and the don'ts of writing a letter to your spouse, friend, whoever during BMT. And at the end, I'm also going to talk about how to use the app Sandbox because that is another way that you can write letters. If you don't want to physically write a letter, buy stamps, buy envelopes, go to the post office, or drop it off in your mailbox, you can use the app Sandbox to write your trainee a letter during BMT. So stay tuned for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join the mafia. We're almost there to a thousand subscribers so keep subscribing tell your friends family all of that to subscribe to our channel okay so first we're going to start with the don'ts because i don't have that many don'ts most stuff is common sense you cannot send them like any items like you can't send them clothes can't send them food none of that you can't do anything of that sort now if they do ask for something specifically then you can send that to them because they were told to ask for that so that's the only way you'll be able to send something if they brought the wrong kind of bra and they needed a certain kind of sports bra or if they didn't bring compression shorts or whatever they needed for bmt they would write that in a letter or you might get a call and be like send this that's the only way you send those type of items but you can can't send food gum can't none of that you cannot send those they cannot receive like care packages you're mainly only sending them like you need to be sending them a piece of paper so they can't receive care packages with different items in it um and if they do get anything that's like in a box or like a package they will have to open it in front of their mti they know it's not anything they can't have so just don't even do that don't send that at all you don't want your trainee to get so much of so much attention from their MTI so sending them letters or cards that when they open up they sing or they got glitter or all this extra stuff that draws attention to them so recommend to not send those because that just draws attention just send regular letters or if you get a card from the store just let it be a regular card you don't have to do extra with the cards because it draws attention to them and they might not want that attention so this is controversy like I don't know it just depends on how your trainee is um, and how you feel but for me I would say don't write any like bad news because one the bad news is definitely going to distract them during BMT and it's also hard to receive bad news during a letter and you have no one like no family no friends to comfort you depending on what the news is. So I recommend 100% do not write anything like bad, like any death or somebody got really sick. I do not recommend doing those types of things. Um, but it's up to your discretion if you want to do that. I think maybe I should have a talk about that. Do you want to know the bad news? Do you not want to know the bad news during BMT if anything does come to happen? But I don't recommend it because it can distract them and who wants to find out something really bad with no one to comfort them, hold them, tell them that it's going to be okay, or give them the words of encouragement that they need when it's needed the most. You know what I'm saying? So, on to the do. So, I would have to say my first do would be write them every single day. Like, write them every single day. You know, mail doesn't run on Sundays, but still, you can still write them on Sunday. You can still drop it off on the post office on Sunday you know what I'm saying but write them every day whether you're just telling them how your day was what you did what's new what happened on the news new music anything with sports anything that they want to hear so just write them every day letters help them and push them that's their way of staying connected to people back at home letters they have nobody there with them so the only thing that they have from people from home are the letters you know what I'm saying also send pictures with your letters I've been told by my spouse and by people that I know that's in the military that letters help so 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 much the letters are amazing but pictures they help they really do help in a letter you can read yada 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 but you still want to see that person, you know what I'm saying? Or see your friends or whoever. So make sure you send pictures with your letters. 
another thing I would say is when you are writing them in a letter to try to keep everything like positive and uplifting they are going through a hard time as well as you but they have it worse than you you know what I'm saying so try to keep things positive let them know that you still miss them and that you still think about them and tell them to keep going you know what I'm saying and like you can have like a countdown like oh you made it through week one congratulations and stuff like that so words of encouragement really help um give them positive news like I said before like let's say if you got promoted during a job or somebody who was sick is now feeling better stuff like that and just let them know that you're cheering them on and you support them and things like that they love to hear that that reassurance really helps them because sometimes they might feel like giving up they might feel like they didn't make the right choice so you just have to reassure them that they did and that everybody's proud of them and all the good stuff that they want to hear another thing that i can say is when you're writing your training Ask them questions. Um, ask them questions about their experience. You can follow along with their week through different apps. Um, different apps tell you what should be going on during BMT every week. So if you read those, ask questions in your letters about what you read. Oh, did you take pictures this week? How is PT going? Is the food good? Are you sleeping great? Ask questions. That gives them something to write about. It seems like you care because you obviously do care that you're asking questions. So make sure you ask questions in your letters so it's like y'all are having a conversation rather than, oh, I'm only going to talk about me and you're only going to talk about you. Like, ask questions. Have a conversation as if y'all were there in person or if y'all were to talk over the phone. Another big thing that you should do is give out your trainee address to their friends, to other family members that aren't like immediate family members. Give that address out so everybody can write that trainee. So another thing, let's say if your trainee likes sports or like watching the news, you can cut out different like clips from a magazine or newspaper but what you cannot do is send them the whole magazine or send them the newspaper that gets thrown at the edge of your driveway or it's placed in your mailbox. You cannot do that. But you can cut out pieces of different things and put it in an envelope and send it to them. So that way they're still updated on the outside world. Or you could just write them about it if you don't feel like doing that or if you don't have magazines or whatever. You could just write them about it. But try to keep them connected to the outside world because while they're there they really don't have much connection on what's going on in the news or what happening with the sports and stuff like that so try to keep them really connected with that especially if that's something that they would do on a normal day-to-day -day basis if they were at home so i'm going to put my screen right here but now we're going to talk about the app samba it is an app that you can use to write letters or send them um, different kind of things. They also have like an online store where you could buy stuff for yourself like shirts, hats, and things of that sort. But I'm just gonna show you guys how to write the letter portion of everything and then I can kind of go into a little detail about the different things on the app. So, app is called Sandbox with two X's, with two X's. They're gonna click on the app. Mine is already set up, so. As you can see, this is what it would look like when you first open the app. Um, they have weekly updates. Like I said, there's different apps to keep up with what's going on every week during BMT. Yeah, so this is what it would look like. Where you see tokens. Um, you can buy different tokens, one, three, yeah, there's different deals to buy the tokens. Tokens are what help send the letter. If you don't have any tokens, you can't send the letter off. So you would press on write a letter. And where it says his name, there wouldn't be that on your app when you first create it. So you would go to new recipient and you would just fill out this information right here based on the address that your training gave you or that you see on the envelope if they had to send you a letter first and you didn't get a call with their address. I'm gonna click on their name and right here you get to write a letter, say whatever you wanna say. Um, just to let you guys know, my letters are never that short. You're then able to add a photo, but for this sake, I'm not gonna add a photo. I'm not even gonna send this letter. Um, 
skip and so these are the different things that you can add and these will go to the trainee um so you have a gift card you have daily motivation and they will get it for four weeks so i think it goes to them like every friday or it's probably every like if you would have bought it like on a, on a wednesday I'd probably go to them every wednesday and they have different things that you can add so then you would press next and this is what it would be like the letter with the information if you needed to go back and edit it you can do that if you wanted to add something on you can do that and then you would press send letter so that would be that and right here is where it shows you like all of your like oh, okay i was gonna say it shows you all of your letters that you have written um and this is where you will also be able to track your letters so as you can see it says that my letters were delivered and as you can see the off duty thing is still processing it hasn't went through my most recent letter it says printed um so it keeps you updated it tells you when it's in transit and then also when you click on it you can click on track and and it shows you the tracking information and it also has a map that you can see where it's at and things of that sort so yeah that's basically how sandbox works then you also have a shop on here so these are just a few little things you have shirts and it has all of the different branches things that you can send to your um your trainee you can send them stamps and stuff like that and then you just have you know news things that talks about that and that's basically it and then you have bad you get badges when you do certain things like refer people or how many letters you've written i collected all my badges that is basically the app sandbox so make sure you guys download that if you do not feel like writing a physical letter i write a physical letter and i use sandbox so he gets letters from me all the time so if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know about dating someone while they're in BMT or any questions that you have about BMT I think I might be able to answer most of you guys questions just comment them down below or you can DM them to me on Instagram and my Instagram is jadakitara1 so make sure you follow me on Instagram you can also follow me on TikTok at jadakitara so alright 2 today Mafia that wraps up this video if you like this video make sure you give it a like comment subscribe and tune into our next video no cap